Hello, Mr. Mayor, and thank you for allowing me this time to speak to you today, but unfortunately the subject that I have to speak about is very traumatic and personal to me. With the new abortion legislation brought forth by the Texas Supreme Court allowing the heartbeat bill and limiting abortions to six weeks is incredibly unconstitutional. Bill Gates' father, William Gates Sr., would be so disappointed in his son for letting this bill pass, considering Gates' family involvement in starting Planned Parenthood with Margaret Sanger. Currently, I'm in a situation where I have three different birthing people pregnant at the same time, and I would like for all of them to have abortions, but unfortunately with this new heartbeat bill, we are unable to get the usual abortions that we often get. I don't like to use any contraception whatsoever because it hinders my performance, so that's why I depend on abortions as a 100% effective form of birth control. <laughs> but now that the state is making it almost impossible for birthing people to even get an abortion, <laughs> I'm going to be forced to change my entire lifestyle. Roe v. Wade made it very clear that abortions are completely legal, and I wish Dallas would take a page out of New York's rule book and approve late-term abortion up to six hours after birth, because this would solve a lot of problems for expected parents that don't want to have the financial obligation of raising a child that they didn't plan for with money that they don't have. And although I'm perfectly capable of financially supporting a young child, and I know that I would get crazy amount of likes and comments on my TikTok and Instagram accounts from all the cool baby photos, and I could post them in Armani and Gucci baby gear, and it's very easy for me to find birthing people that want me to leave my seed inside them, but unfortunately, I don't have the time or the ability to change my vacations to Cabo San Lucas in Jamaica, because those are non-refundable flights. And I travel to many other international destinations on a regular basis because my social media influence on Instagram is similar to that of Dan Bilzerian or Chrissy Teigen's. But sadly, with multiple children, this could hinder my ability to travel, and I know this may sound a little selfish, but my doctor and psychiatrist both prescribed me an eat, pray, love lifestyle ever since my first ex-wife and her new fiancé died in a fire at our old lake house that she received in the divorce settlement. My two transgender children, my two transgender children from the divorce, Decca and Alex, who are both on puberty blockers, were just surrendered to Child Protective Services until I can get my drunk driving problem behind me. Because I recently got a DWI outside of the Olive Garden on Technology Boulevard after the all-you-can-eat pasta promotion they have. But, but regardless of all the Pinot Grigio and Fettuccine Alfredo, I sit here in front of the mayor and city council begging that you use some of the budgetary funds to hire attorneys and file a lawsuit against Governor Abbott. Just like you're suing for the mass mandate laws that are currently in place by the governor. Please do something to reverse this unjust, unconstitutional abortion ban so that I can go back to raw-dogging, birthing people that I meet outside of Arby's and drug rehabilitation centers. And if you're watching this online and you want to smoke Sister Sweets later and chill with me, hit my Instagram, Primetime Stein, all one word, and my Twitter, Alex999. My picture is Greta Thunberg wearing a mask and my bio says, free the nipple. Thank you. Thank you, Mary Johnson. I appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. Have a good one.